Okay, I'm going to attempt to explain mitosis and meiosis using different pairs of shoes. So, in this cell, the diploid number is 6 because we have three pairs of homologous chromosomes. And each different color of shoe represents a different chromosome, either a maternal chromosome or a paternal chromosome. So in mitosis, in interphase, each chromosome is duplicated. And the thing that distinguishes mitosis from meiosis is the alignment of the chromosomes on the metaphase plate. So in meiosis, the homologous pairs do not align together on the metaphase plate. They align independently. So, each sister chromatid would be on a separate side of the metaphase plate. After telophase and cytokinesis, the sister chromatids separate, resulting in two diploid cells. And it can be easier seen that these are diploid if we put the homologous pairs back together. Each pair of shoes is diploid because there's a different color of shoe in each homologous pair, representing a different chromosome in each homologous pair. Okay. So in meiosis, in interphase, the chromosomes are duplicated, just as they are in mitosis. The key difference here is in the alignment on the metaphase plate. So in metaphase one of meiosis, the tetrads, which are the duplicated homologous chromosomes, align together along the metaphase plate. So then after telophase 1, the homologous pairs separate, resulting in two haploid cells. And the reason that these are haploid are because there's only one type of chromosome from each homologous pair. Because Instead of having a gold shoe and a white shoe here, or a pink shoe and a blue shoe, there's only two white, which means there's only two copies of the same chromosome, which explains why they're haploid. And because you have two copies of the same chromosome, you need another division to separate these two, resulting in four haploid cells at the end of meiosis two.